What is going on guys? So welcome to yet another one of my tutorials. Uh, today's tutorial I'll be showing you guys how to install the Commodore 64 on the Wii. Uh, now the Commodore 64 is not really for me. Uh, it's not really that interesting really. Uh, I don't care for it too much. Uh, so this tutorial is definitely not for me. It's for those of you who love the Commodore 64. So uh, I just come across this the other day guys. Uh, I've been searching online for a couple weeks now on this thing and uh, yesterday, just yesterday, I, I found a website that practically uh, provides you with everything you need. I mean, games, borders, everything. So I'm going to be showing you guys that and I'll be showing you guys where to put everything at and all that good stuff, you know, put all the files. So um, without further ado, let's just go ahead. Let's just jump over to the computer, guys, and get this thing going. All right. Cool. All right, guys. Uh, so here we are. We're on my computer here, and uh, this these are the files. Well, this is the file here that you'll be downloading. And so you might be wondering, oh, okay, where do I get this file at? Well, I'm about to show you. Um, if you come over here, we're gonna go to Chrome here. Uh, this is the uh, this is the Media Fire site in which you're gonna download this certain file. Now, the, the site that I had to go through to get here is Dark Umbra. Uh, if anybody knows who that, uh, what, where, anything about this website, uh, you do have to create an account uh, in order to download anything. Everything is pretty much um, hidden. Uh, it has hidden content, so you have to, uh, like I said, have an account, and you have to either respond to a post or come over here. And what I did, I just hit like, and and the download option here appeared. Um, this is what it consists of right here. Uh, well, I'll be getting, I'll be going through that way here in a minute, but uh, <clears throat> it's complete image collection, got forwarders, and of course you have the emulator itself. So I've already went through the trouble of downloading it here. Okay, right here. And what I have to do also, um, let me see. Hold on, I gotta put my SD card in here. Hold on a second. Okay, okay, uh, let's do this here. Well, if I can move this over. Okay, let's open this bad boy here back up. Okay, so here we are guys. Uh, of course, you, you're gonna uh, have the emulator itself right here. And uh, just like in all my videos, uh, you can either, if you don't have this apps folder on your SD card, just simply drag and drop it over to the root of your SD card over here. Uh, now if you do, you just open that apps folder up there and you're gonna take the contents of that apps folder and just drag and drop it over here within that apps folder on your SD card. Okay, the Frodo, uh, this contains all your games and saves and things like that. Here's your images uh, and According to the website, this is the whole collection here, guys. Uh, it even has the top 100 favorites or something like that, but I don't think it was 100. I believe it comes to like 88 or something like that, but there's the top 100, as someone said, I don't know, but it's a lot of them. Uh, there's plenty there for you guys, okay? So there's, there's all your games, uh, saves right there, things, I don't know what all that stuff is, it, it don't matter. Uh, here's your WAD files right here, guys. Um, that you, there's two of them to choose from. Uh, I think I've actually got this one that I've uh, um, installed on mine. I'm not sure, <clears throat> but yeah, uh, the Frodo right here. I forgot to tell you, just this this will be just uh, drug over into the root of your SD card. Um, and two, what I heard, guys, uh, you cannot have the app the actual emulator and this folder with all your games uh on a say say you have your emulator on your sd card and this right here on your usb hard drive or whatever uh, i heard you can't do that um i've got mine on my sd card anyway but um i heard wherever your games are at wherever you want to load your games up your emulator has to be there too or something like that um, 
but yeah. Uh, what I can do, check this out. We'll, uh, let's see. Let's see if it pulls it up real quick. Yeah, here it is. Okay. We'll go here really quickly. Um, let's see. Huh. I don't know where I read that from. It might have been here. Um, let's see. Okay, right here at the very beginning, it says that, uh, well, these, these, these certain files, the T64, D64, or whatever like that, images are on the SD card or in any directory on an USB fat disk. Huh. I don't know where I've seen it at, guys. Uh, I haven't tried it. Uh, all my games are on the SD card, uh, so that's that. Uh, I may later try it on that uh, hard drive. I don't know. But yeah, that's that, guys. Uh, and so, uh, you, as for your wads right here, I've got a folder. Uh oh, where'd it go? I got a folder called WADS, and that's that's where I keep all my WADS at. Uh, got my I don't know what I'm doing with them. Okay, anyway, yeah, I've got all my WAD files right here in a WAD folder, all in one place. And uh, some of them I got I got them kind of categorized here. I got the CIOS is here, um, all my iOS is here, and mixed in with a bunch of other junk that's unorganized. I don't like that too much, but anyway. Master Shoes Collection and We Flow Channels. Uh, if anybody wants to know where I got all these We Flow Channels at, these are pretty cool now. <clears throat> I've got one installed right now. I believe it's this one right here, the fall. But it's pretty cool. <clears throat> and whatever that is. All right. So, uh, yeah. I just place, you can place them anywhere you want to because uh, within Wide Manager, you're just going to navigate to wherever they are anyway. So, that's that. So let's just go on over to the Wii guys and let's check some things out, see how it goes. Okay guys, so the first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna create the channel, okay? So uh, I'm gonna go over to my WAD manager. I use the WAD manager 1.7. Okay, so when we hit the A button there, we're gonna go to iOS 236. That's what I always use. Hit the A button. Uh, yep, the SD card, hit the A button. We're gonna open that up. And we're simply gonna scroll down. Uh oh. Uh, just navigate to wherever your WAD files are at. Mine's in this WAD folder here, so I'm gonna hit the A button. I'm gonna go into my master shoes collection here and look for Frodo. There's Frodo 64 right there. Frodo C64, second edition. So I'm gonna hit the A button on that. We're gonna install it. I'm gonna hit the A button again. Okay, that one we're good. Hit the home button to go back out. Okay, so there we go. There's uh, our Commodore 64 channel there. Like I said, I haven't played it this that much, so I'm still learning on about this emulator and how it runs and everything. Uh, I just I'm just gonna show you guys what I know. Uh, from right here, you just hit the home button on your Wiimote, and it'll bring you here. All right, so let's go down to options, because uh, this gives you some options here. Uh, you got display. One thing is uh, it comes default as um, the window option is chosen here. Uh, I went to full screen, 
That's what I want. I didn't change anything else. Um, there was a game I come across. Uh, I did have this on, and it said to use 1541. So I just left it at 1541 for right now until I run into any more problems, and I'll switch that on, whatever. Um, map controller, uh, I come across the game, and port 2 was actually for player 1, and port 1 was for player 2. Why that is, I have no idea. I just leave everything else the way it is. Um, you hit your number one button to, to back out of this. And, um, of course, whatever you change, just go to Save Preferences and hit the number two button. Hit the number two button again to save it. <clears throat> and uh, get your uh, save, save states. Uh, keyboard, I have no idea exactly what this is. Um... I don't know. Anyway, let's let's try to start off a game here. What you're gonna do is go with it. Uh, I guess insert a game because if you go to straight to start, let's see if it see, see if it works. Uh, the game I want to try is uh, this one right here. I don't know. I can't really pronounce that. So we'll see what happens. Okay. All right. So we got a bunch of this. Uh, I don't know what you call it, mess going on. Just let it do its thing. It, it, uh, it'll load up here in a second. Okay, so here we are. Uh, what I do, I hit the B button to go into it, and this is the tricky part right here. Uh, well, it's not really tricky. It was at first because I thought I had to ha use the keyboard and it was really frustrating. But just hit your number one button to go into the game. Um, one thing I haven't figured out yet, guys, is how to configure your controls. Uh, this, this game has a problem. But right here, you have to use your keyboard. Hit the home button, go down to keyboard, and hit the number two button to bring it up. Uh, if it has a question mark, it's going to be a Y or an N uh, answer. So I'll just hit Y. And then right here, I use the uh, Joy Up. All right. And then I went to Done. And then what I, what I do then. Um, darn it. I forgot what I did. So that's, what, that's what I'm talking about. By this emulator here, I have no earthly idea how I did this. Um, key for level skip. That's a qu Oh, it is a question mark. So let's just go for Y. Oh, there we go. And then you hit the number one button to back out of it. All right, hit the number two button. Right here is questionable. I don't know which one to pick here. I have no earthly idea. So I'm just going to hit the fire button. Wait a minute, hit the... Hit the B button. That's right. On the Wii Remote, hit the B button. And hit it again. Okay. So, right here, guys, I can only move right. Uh, the positive, the, the, plus, the plus sign moves you right. The plus button, whatever you want to call it. But I cannot figure out how to move left whatsoever, guys. I don't know at all how to do that. So, that's that game. I don't know how to figure out the controls, guys. If you know how to do it, uh, let me know. Uh, I'm going to show you another game. Uh, let's see. There's one called Bubble Bobble, which is pretty good. It just takes forever to get a game going. And it's crazy. Alright. Let's just do this here. I'm just gonna show you just this game right here, and I'll be I'll be done because I'm just gonna let you see what what kind of a mess y'all gonna be getting into trying to get a game started because this is crazy. All right, so we're just screen hit the hit the B button on your Wii remote to get here, and right here, just hit the number one button, which is not too bad. 
hit the number one button again. Okay, now this is going to require your keyboard. Um, just hit yes, 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 <laughs> yes. Uh, you, you can just read them if you want to, but I've done and went through this, and I just hit yes on everything. Uh oh and right here, I went with joy up. Hit number one to, uh, to get rid of your keyboard there. And hit the your B button to go into the game. Number one. I mean, let's see. Okay, and then plus button to, to get into that. Okay, so uh, this controller works good. Um, all right, so so how you jump? is the up arrow uh, on your d-pad guys all right and to shoot is the number two button on your uh-oh uh on your wiimote oh uh oh uh oh uh oh oh no All right, so that's it, guys. This one works just fine with the controls and all. Okay, so that's that, guys. So that, that's how you get it working. I guess, let's see. You could probably go to hit save, um, go to number two, hit hit number two again and then if you go to load as you can see there's your save file right there and it's also off to the right you got a screenshot so yeah I mean that's how you save it and load a game also so that's pretty cool uh, I just can't figure out the controls and how to get games really up and going fast enough that, but that's it guys I, I hope this really helped you guys out um, but uh oh but that's it uh, that's all I can show you guys for right now until I can get more familiar with it. And uh, I'm going to end the tutorial now, guys. Uh, like Again, I hope it helped you out. Uh, and, and this is Bobby signing off. And y'all have a good one. And keep on gaming, guys. Thanks. Thanks for watching.